One of San Diego's main draws is its beaches. But in the South Bay, pollution is taking a toll on the coastline. Uh, the beaches of Imperial Beach are closed about half of the time of the year due to pollution. UCSD lecturer Oscar Romo says we would have a full year of closures if it weren't for the Tijuana River estuary, the largest coastal wetland in the southern United States. The estuary's mix of plants and silt, called a salt marsh, acts as a filter that purifies inland rain and floodwaters before they reach the ocean. So the ocean is clean because the estuary is there. But the estuary is now facing critical threats to its own health from its neighbors across the border in Mexico. Pollution, toxic runoff, and great amounts of sediment are destroying the estuary's wetlands. The damage is clearly visible in the salt marshes that Romo is trying to protect. Barren soil has replaced fields of healthy marsh. So let me show you here that we have the healthy part of the estuary where all the native vegetation and the salt marsh is. While over here, this is sediment that came across the border from Tijuana and entirely choked this salt marsh. This is where much of the sediment threatening the estuary comes from, Los Laureles Canyon in Tijuana. About 80,000 people live in the canyon. Many of them work at nearby factories called maquiladoras, and many of them are squatters. At the end of the day, they often come back home to shacks made out of garage doors or built on foundations of tires. So it's a second-hand town. Everything has been used by somebody else before. There's no planning, there's no roads, there's no power, there's no sewer. All this construction has stripped away the canyon's natural vegetation and made it vulnerable to erosion and flooding. When it rains, uh, these structures, uh, improvised structures with uh, weak foundations, they collapse, they come down. Balancing the needs of the estuary with those of the canyon's residents is no small task, but the UCSD Urban Studies and Planning Program aims to do just that. Romo and UCSD students are carrying out a pilot project to rebuild the canyon's neighborhoods. The plan includes creating a nursery for native plants, building environmentally friendly homes, offering education programs for canyon residents, and working with local officials on both sides of the border. We need those two communities to understand uh, why the history is good for them. Well, the future already started. We have the tools. With many of the projects well underway, Romo says he's optimistic that binational cooperation, education, and good urban planning can save both the Tijuana River estuary and Los Laureles Canyon. We're trying to save the world one sub-basin at a time.